Welcome to the AI Story Narrator. In the heart of a remote mountain town, nestled deep within the dark and icy forests, the Mackenzie family had carved out a life of solitude. The snow-covered landscape was their fortress, and for years, it had shielded them from the outside world. But that wintry tranquility would soon be shattered by a series of eerie events. The Mackenzies, a family of four, consisted of Robert, a former detective, his wife Sarah, an artist with an affinity for the macabre, and their two teenage children, Liam and Emily. They had chosen to live away from the hustle and bustle of city life, seeking peace and quiet. They never expected that the serenity of their snow-clad sanctuary would become a breeding ground for terror. It all began with a whispered rumor in the nearby village, a tale of chilling snow angels that mysteriously appeared in the forest. The villagers spoke in hushed tones about strange figures lurking in the shadows, their forms grotesque and elongated. A wave of paranoia had gripped the town, and fear danced on every doorstep. One crisp, moonlit night, as the family gathered around the roaring fireplace, Sarah's keen artists eye caught a glimpse of an unsettling figure outside their cabin. A misshapen silhouette moved through the snow-laden trees, like a wraith in the frigid night. She gasped and pointed toward the window, her voice trembling, Did you see that? Robert, ever the rational one, grabbed his flashlight and stepped outside to investigate. The cold air bit into his skin as he ventured into the darkness. He scanned the forest, and as he moved deeper, his heart skipped a beat. There, etched in the snow, was a ghastly snow angel. Its body was skeletal, its limbs unnaturally long, and its head was shriveled like a desiccated fruit. It was a grotesque mockery of the innocent snow angels children create. He retreated back into the cabin, his face pale. We're not alone out here, he muttered, his voice a mere whisper. Liam and Emily, intrigued by their father's discovery, decided to explore the enigmatic snow angels themselves. Armed with flashlights and their youthful curiosity, they ventured into the woods the next day. As they followed the eerie footprints in the snow, the forest grew darker, and the chill in the air intensified. Hours passed, and the children found themselves lost, far from the safety of their home. Panic set in as the forest seemed to close in on them. Shapes moved in the shadows, and strange sounds echoed through the trees. They had stumbled upon something beyond their comprehension, and fear gnawed at them. Back at the cabin, Sarah and Robert were gripped with worry. Nightfall came, and there was no sign of their children. Fear turned to terror, and the couple decided to venture into the forest to find them. Armed with flashlights and a sense of foreboding, they followed the same path their children had taken. The deeper they ventured, the more the forest seemed to twist and contort around them. The gnarled trees whispered secrets of ancient horrors, and the snow angels became more grotesque with each step. The Mackenzies soon realized they were not alone, and the creatures responsible for the snow angels were closing in. As the night unfolded, a relentless sense of dread settled upon the family. The snow-covered forest held ancient terrors, and the snow angels were their sinister heralds. The Mackenzies would need every ounce of their courage and determination to confront the malevolent forces that had invaded their winter paradise. The howling winds and the chilling darkness concealed the horrors lurking in the shadows, and the Mackenzies were now pawns in a nightmarish game. The family's struggle for survival in the heart of the eerie forest had only just begun. The forest seemed to conspire against the Mackenzie family as they delved deeper into its enigmatic depths. The moonlight cast eerie shadows, and the trees closed in on them, like malevolent sentinels guarding a terrible secret. Their flashlights flickered, and the frigid air became thick with an otherworldly presence. Sarah clutched Robert's arm, her grip tightening with every rustling of leaves and every distant, unnerving whisper. Robert, we need to find them, and we need to find them now, she urged, her voice quivering. Her heart ached with the fear of the unknown. Robert nodded, his resolve unwavering. We will, Sarah. We won't let anything happen to them, he promised, his flashlight cutting through the darkness. As they ventured further, the sense of foreboding grew more intense. The eerie footprints that led them deeper into the forest became a sinister trail, and the grotesque snow angels, like eerie totems, multiplied in number. Each one bore a different form, a manifestation of grotesque terror. Then, a blood-curdling scream shattered the night. It was the voice of Liam, raw and filled with terror, echoing through the forest. 
Sarah's heart plummeted, and Robert's grip on his wife's hand tightened. Without a second thought, they raced toward the source of the scream. They stumbled upon an eerie clearing, bathed in an otherworldly, ethereal glow. There, they found their children, Liam and Emily, standing in the center, their faces frozen in shock. Around them were the grotesque snow angels, surrounding the siblings like an eerie congregation. The figures that had been lurking in the shadows were now unmistakable. They were nightmarish creatures, with elongated limbs, thin necks, and heads that resembled dried husks. They moved with an unsettling, disjointed grace, their claws etching terrifying patterns in the snow. Robert raised his flashlight, revealing the horrifying scene in stark detail. Stay behind me, kids. He commanded, his voice steady but laced with fear. The creatures hissed and screeched as the flashlight's beam struck them, their grotesque forms recoiling from the light. Their movements were erratic, as if they were repelled by the illumination. The Mackenzies had discovered their weakness. Emily, Liam, slowly back away, Sarah whispered, her voice filled with a mother's protective instinct. The children obeyed, inching away from the malevolent beings. Robert and Sarah continued to illuminate the creatures, forcing them to retreat, hissing and screeching, into the darkness. With each step, the forest seemed to reclaim its eerie normalcy, and the family's heart rate slowly returned to a semblance of normal. The Mackenzies hurriedly retreated from the clearing, their flashlights piercing the shadows around them. Fear and relief mingled in their hearts as they made their way back to their cabin. The forest had offered a glimpse into an ancient terror, and they had stumbled upon something far beyond their understanding. As they finally reached the safety of their home, they realized they had narrowly escaped a fate that defied reason and explanation. The forest was home to malevolent forces, and the grotesque snow angels were their calling cards. Over the following days, the Mackenzies tried to make sense of the horrifying experience, but they knew they might never fully understand the ancient, otherworldly beings that had invaded their winter paradise. Their bond as a family had grown stronger, forged in the crucible of unimaginable terror, and they were left with an enduring sense of awe and dread for the snow-covered forest that concealed ancient horrors. The Mackenzies knew that their quiet, snow-laden sanctuary held secrets that would forever haunt their dreams, and the eerie snow angels would remain etched in their memories as harbingers of an unfathomable darkness. If you liked the video be sure to like and subscribe. See you next time.